Hello, Buzzacles, my name is Halsesty and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And before I tell you what form we are focusing in today's episode, let's figure out what the side projects are uh, that we will also tackle today. So up here we notice this setup no longer functioning because it's just too hot so we need a cooling system to be built up here on the side and the problem is we do not really have uh, enough uh, steel to do a proper sized one so uh, maybe it will be a small one with enough space so uh, we can expand it in in the future but we will we will see and then last time well, we started uh, digging out this area down here um, which will eventually become our petroleum boiler where we use the uh, heat from the magma um, to um, convert crude oil directly into petroleum without any effort on our side and then we can feed that into our uh, uh, petroleum generators and for that to work we will have to bring a bit more power from up here um, downside uh, and I also had uh, already installed a, a heavy watt uh, a junction plate here so we can um, do that and by the placement of this you can see that goes straight through here uh, through this chlorine gas so that's also where our farm for today comes in because we will use the chlorine gas to farm some balm lilies so uh, these are not food plants these are medical plants so usually uh, we don't really need uh, a lot of those but as we said, we want to farm uh, all the all the plants that that we can farm that are in some manner useful. We will have a balm lily farm, and the way we will do this is by digging in here, have a lock uh, here on this side. So on the other side, we can have a chlorine gas atmosphere in our in our uh, farm. Uh, and at the same time uh, bring in the power wire from above all the way down here where we need it. Currently the problem here is uh, not enough oxygen so uh, these gates are empty and uh, eventually we will be able to to fill that uh, back in um, we are supplying a water here from this side which is a bit on the on the warm side so this will have the effect that everything heats up a bit um, we are at at 20 degrees um, so yeah we have to be a bit careful um, but once we have the cooling set up we might not only cool uh, this um, industrial block up here but also maybe cool our base down a bit again or maybe just cool down the uh, oxygen that we pump in or the water that we are using for the conversion. But those are the plans for today, uh, aside from waiting for more uh, uh, arbor seeds to, uh, to have a bigger and better farm here. Um, 
but I guess all this will come in due time. And here we're shifting over the last bit of ethanol um, so we can use that up. Um, and once all that is gone, um, we will have to shift or connect the power for the pump and the rock crusher to something um, from other, our other power supply. But as you have guessed from uh, uh, my rambling, there is quite a lot uh, to do and as always not enough time to do it. So. I will let the duplicates get to it. Um, I also need to uh, complete our, our farm here a bit more. Um, and then that one can be completed. We can also add more duplicates. We still have a few bats free if a good one comes around. But let's make some progress first. Our setup for our Baumlele farm has made quite good progress. However, what we have neglected is that we also need a way to get the power from up here to down there. And that means we have to get it through this farm without um, getting the, the chlorine out of it. But I think we can do that. So let's add one plate here. Um, and once that is constructed, then this uh, gas can not escape to this side and we can have another plate there. Uh, and then we can also have one there and pull the power uh, from from up there. For our cooling setup, we also have made some progress. Um, we have most of the of the layout done here. We need we we still need a bit more work. We also need a bit more steel. We have enough for the uh, last echo tuner. Well, let's put that into place. Um, and then we need two uh, uh, steam turbines up here for the cooling. Um, but uh, for that we need 1600 kilos of steel, which eventually we will, we will get there. Then here down, we are in the process of cooling down these uh, six window tiles. We are at around 600 kilograms. We run into the situation where we produce steam. Steam condenses to water. We uh, swipe up the water, put it back in. But then we also have or can have situations where we have steam in the airflow tiles and if the steam condenses to water we then actually end up with water within the airflow tile which is no good so we will have to see how we end up once we have reached enough cooling of of this situation here, this the theme went, it has been producing water or steam for quite a while, but I think the output will not be sufficient uh, to uh, supply to oil wells. So eventually we will have to tap into this one here. Um, and here on this side, I had to lower the pump because we run out of, um, of uh, oil down here. So that's all the things that's, that's going on. And we are still quite a long way from 
maybe not achieving the goal for the form, but the uh, other side projects that we also want to tackle. Here on top we have made good progress with our cooling setup. It is now working. The uh, polluted water tank is, uh, is pretty full. Um, we are also cooling this setup here. Um, where we are now producing quite a bit of uh, steel. We will use that in due time. Uh, and maybe now is the time to plant those uh, balm lilies. So we can check off uh, what we set out to do in, in this episode. And unfortunately down here it's not looking so good, especially here on this side, uh, because down here temperatures are just too cozy um, for the steam to, uh, to condense into water and even having a, a simple cooling setup does not work because the, the, the steam generator is too hot. So I tried uh, to rework this, uh, this several times. Um, every time I get a bit closer, but it's the most cause. Here on this side, however, we are done with the with the setup for uh, the uh, petroleum boiler. Um, but if we look uh, over here we can see that we have used almost all of our oil, oil reserves uh, that we set aside to, uh, to uh, pull into this. So I think before we can uh, prime this setup, we need to uh, pump out a bit of uh, oil from the wells. For that we need water and if we cannot get it from here or there, there is another solution here uh, that's a cool slush geyser. So yes, we uh, we then need to uh, to uh, desalinate the, the, the whole thing, uh, but it's cool and temperatures up here are not in the range where it would evaporate immediately. So I think we will just do that. And probably we want to have a bit of a, a basin down here to store uh, the uh, salt water, the brine. Not that we run into similar issues where we eventually will run out of, uh, of fluid. So I think we will well, maybe have a, have a, a two gap thing here on the side. Here on this side. Do it that way. And if we can go up here that should work out fine. Um, I'm making these out of yeah level down here. Then here on this side, I am thinking we have the refinement set up, this desalinator. Um, we can have that one down here. Um, we will need pump. This one does not need to be made out of steel. 
and not of uh, capabilities. The first batch has grown and is being harvested. Not that we have any uh, particular need for the balm lilies, uh, but we said we want to have every uh, uh, farmable um, crop um, farmed. So there you go. Down here we have the setup done. Um, one consideration that I did not make is that uh, this comes out in minus temperatures. So it could be that after uh, desalinating the water might be freezing and destroying the pipes. However, if we look down here we can see the water is in the in the positive range and that's basically because the surrounding is a bit on the warm side so here the, the warmth is actually healthy however this one uh, soon goes dormant and we do have quite uh, not that much um, uh, oil and water so we will we will have to see how that goes on because unless we have sufficient quantities of of oil uh, on the side to prime this setup uh, mainly we have to fill this gap with crude oil um, that's not gonna happen but I think we made good progress in this episode. Uh, also, our uh, tree farm is looking good. There are only two trees we are still missing from this setup. Um, and um, here we have the coon setup. And I think next time uh, we will add um, another um, uh, atmosphere gate here on the top so we can uh, go to the surface and work our way toward rocketry so we can get all the things from outer space that we are lacking uh, but as always there are probably quite a few side projects and issues that we have to deal with along the way so don't forget to tune in next time. Until then, goodbye.